Hey, Measuring Hero, Jay here. It is not Thursday, it's Wednesday, uh, and we're coming to you on a different day because we are celebrating World Metrology Day. And in order to do that, we thought we would go ahead and bring a team from around the world to join us. And here they are. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining us, appreciate it. Uh, with us is uh, Michael Ramp over in uh, near Stuttgart uh, at our QEC out there. Uh, we actually visited Michael and his team um, a few weeks back, a few months back, uh, and uh, did some stuff out there. So good to see you again, Michael. Uh, Sachin is uh, over in Bangalore uh, uh, with our team in uh, India. So Sachin, thank you for joining us at such a late hour. We appreciate uh, you joining us. And uh, uh, Lee is uh, in the United States at our QEC in Minneapolis. Uh, Lee, thanks for coming. Uh, uh, me and Lee actually work uh, out of the same office when I was there in the U.S. So, gentlemen, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Thanks for the um, invitation. Um, oh, no worries. No worries. Uh, we uh, just had a question for each of you. And uh, um, uh, let's start with Sachin, uh, with you. Uh, Sachin, what... Uh, what things do we have in place to kind of help us ensure that we have measurement commonality around the world, um, you know, from country to country or, you know, from location to location? Yeah, uh, in current industry, customers are more required in the com comparable results. So when we are doing the contract measurements in the a lot of our measurement houses in India or even in the globally, uh, we feel Zeiss Cookbook plays a very vital role uh, because it gives the confidence to the customer that we have written procedure, how to do the measurement, start the measurement. And if you follow the same measurement strategy, we always get the comparable results. And this gives more confidence to the customer to use our service, Zeiss services uh, from us. Sure, sure. So our, our ability to do, you know, use comparable and uh, baseline uh, measurement strategies is kind of our underlying theme there. Um, Michael, uh, do you have maybe an example of how we took that underlying baseline of metrology and kind of uh, scaled it up with our footprint uh, um, to solve a customer need? We, we several times did uh, support customers in, in global sourcing. That means uh, the customer who is located nearby our quality excellence center did approach us and asked us if we can help him to measure in China, in India, in US, all over the world, and uh, that we ensure that his internal uh, measurement strategies are also used for these measurements. Cool, cool. Well, uh, that uh, is cool. You know, so so something done in Germany uh, can be easily shipped and transported to our different QECs uh, around the world, and, and uh, that, it sounds like our footprint really helps uh, with that as well. For example, we we de we develop a measurement program together with with a customer, and the customer sourcing, for example, in Italy and in China. And the same measurement run or measurement program, which was approved by the customer, is running directly where the parts are produced. So in all Italy or in China? In Italy and in China. Wow, okay. Cool. Developed in Germany, run in Italy and China. And I'm sure there's a ton of examples where we do that, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. I mean, well, it's, that, not a, well, that, it's not happening every day, but due to that global sourcing is getting more and more, I would say we get quite a lot of inquiries per year. Sure, sure. Um, uh, Lee, uh, quick question for you. Um, in your time uh, at your QEC in Minneapolis, are, are there uh, any applications uh, uh, that stand out as, uh, as interesting or fun or... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's a great question. It's actually the favorite part of my job is uh, going out to these customers and seeing all the fascinating things they do. Um, a couple of things come to mind currently. Um, one, we're measuring a lot of parts that are actually going to go out into space, which is uh, really cool to me. Um, even parts that are going to go collect samples and come back and 
have those samples be tested. Um, you know, the application was a sub-micron accuracy, which is, is really unbelievable. Um, luckily, we have a couple of machines here that are capable. Um, our Micura CMM was used and really did a great job of uh, accurate and repeatable results that the, the customer left very happy. Um, I guess the other thing that I guess I wanted to talk about, especially uh, with, uh, I guess everybody's dealing with right now is the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I got the metatone behind me and we've been scanning parts every day um, to help develop the test kits and, and get those product products to market fast. So that's been really fun. And um, it's exciting that we can do a little something to, to help out the uh, uh, with the pandemic and, and all that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's really cool that we can do our really small bit to just help the whole global thing. It's it it uh, it's really cool to hear that 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 we're able to help in some small way. So, uh, thanks for that. Thank you all for that. Thank you all for joining at at these different hours. We uh, we appreciate uh, uh, you guys uh, coming with us to help us uh, celebrate World Metrology Day uh, uh, and uh, appreciate it. Uh, and for you out there. Um, Hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, seeing a snapshot of uh, some of what we do around the world. And uh, um, please continue to stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday.